Check one, two, three. And it's Everson? Everson. Everson. Okay, we got Craig Everson here, uh, St. Gre or Gregory School. Uh, first of all, Craig, congratulations on uh, Dick McConnell Award. Uh, what does that mean to you? Uh, it's, it's special because of what we were able to accomplish with our guys. So, uh, the, the, you know, it really is just a reflection of, of our guys working their butts off this year and accomplishing something special. And so because they did that, you get a chance to win something like this and being, being voted by your peers is a really nice thing. When you look back at this season and what you guys were able to do, being led by a freshman, uh, did you imagine that that could be the case, that you guys had a team that could make a deep run in, in your conference? We thought even before we got Roz that we would have a chance. Probably the day after the season before ended, we thought we were a top four team. And so it was all about us trying to get better than those, you know, work harder than those three teams. And having a freshman come in and lead you in scoring and rebounds, you know, that certainly put us over the top. Yeah. When you found out you had an opportunity to get a player like Ross Smith, what what goes through your mind as a coach? Uh, well, it's it's nice. I mean, yeah, you, you kind of look and say, wow. I mean, that the fact that he's you know coming to our school and all that, but um, yeah, so it's it, it definitely was a definitely was a great thing, and his he and his family fit in and into the into the community and the school and are part of the school family, and that's the most important thing, really. Describe what you love about him as a player. He's he's very humble. He's hard. He's he's very competitive. He wants to win, and even though he he probably at some level knows that what kind of talent he is, he's willing to do whatever it takes with for the team to win, and so it. In, in a game, nothing ever was about him. It's all, it was only about how we could win this game. And, and he, he, he wanted to win so badly that he did everything he could. And he, he did things that were beyond a freshman in terms of communication and, and leadership because he wanted to win so badly. Now, you've been there how long now? About six, seven years? Seven years, seven years yes. When you first got there, what were some of the things you laid down right away with, with the kids about how you wanted to build that program? Really, a, a few key things. One, I, I wanted to be a skill development program because I think you win with players. And whether, whether you buy them, rent them, or you build them, and I'd prefer to build them, right? So. Uh, luckily, we, one of the reasons I went there was because he's as a fifth through, grade through 12, and so we could build them. And so I really enjoy the draft and development type of approach, and so we developed players. So that was one. It was a skill skill development, um, and so we would a lot of times do three quarters of our practices on skill development rather than X's and L's because we wanted to build great players. And then the other thing, probably the other key was just energy and toughness because Gregory is a great school but it doesn't just ooze you know toughness it's it's a it's a place where it's academic focus but we really had to develop that toughness what are some of the things you do to build toughness um, well there's a lot of drills we do um, competitive drills where kids are diving on the floor or hitting each other there's a lot of contact um, we, uh, I hope part of it is that they see, you know, my toughness and what and how fiery I can get in a game or in a practice, and that's where I try to lead by example. Yeah, did you know uh, Coach McConnell at all? I didn't. I I've heard of him and I knew of him, but no, I haven't. What are some of the things you've heard about him and, and what he was able to do here in Southern Arizona? Uh, well, I know it's all the wins he had. I know the championships, and I know what all these other coaches speak about him in terms of a mentor. And I think he even lived near me for a while at at the end. But um, but I think just watching the coaches here um, speak of him and what a role model he was. That's 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 what you hope as a coach. You know that you have the. You really just want to build the next generation of leaders. And it sounds like he did that. 
All right. So what's the uh, what's the roadmap to repeating? <laughs> uh, a lot of hard work, getting better every day, staying humble, and um, then just having the determination to you know and will to win. What's your summer schedule in terms of what your kids will be involved with? We're really fortunate this summer. We got invited to two of the top tournaments in the state. So for a 1A team to be able to do that, that's really special. There are two invite onlys, um, college coaches in attendance, and so that's that's a that's a you know another uh, st statement of you know what a great job the kids have done to be able to get invited to that. And so we'll play in those two tournaments along with two other in June. But we'll really just be in the gym three, four days a week, working kids out and getting stronger and getting better at basketball. Yeah. Congratulations again, Craig, on an outstanding season, winning a state championship. Thank you, David.